Good Take afternoon. 14. Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Mikey Makes. This afternoon I'm going to be making Tarto Citron for my mother. Because? Um, because it's her birthday, or it was her birthday, and it's an old family recipe, done it millions of times, know exactly what I'm doing. So, um, without further ado, we'll start. I didn't know you were related to Mary Barry. Shut it. Food processor. Into the food processor we'll put in the flour. I'm not going to mess about with all the ingredients because this time, thanks to some flash software, you can see all the ingredients scrolling across the bottom of the, the screen here um, um, when it's edited. Um, I've got some cast sugar and um, I've got some cold butter that's been cut oh. up into lumps. So you're not worried about putting in a liquidizer then? It's that is it. It's not. It's a, it's a food processor. All right. It might look like a liquidizer, but it's a food processor. So I'm going to put it in there, slip the top on. Have you got a pulse button on that? Yeah, and then I'm going to pulse it. And I'm going to... Not going to do it because it's a liquidizer. It's doing it. It's not. It is doing it. Isn't. it. So I'm going to turn it into a liquid. Now that it's looking bread crummy, I'm going to add a, um, an egg yolk. <laughs> the yolk is the yellow bit, isn't it? Right, I'm going to add a, an egg yolk. Ooh, oh, don't drip it everywhere. Oh. And a tablespoon of cold water. He's over by the sink now. No, he's not. Oh, <clears throat> you're doing it in a liquidizer. It's a food processor. This is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when your husband insists it's a food processor when, it processor when it's blatantly a liquidizer. The other voice you can hear is the voice, it's the of, voice of reason. I'm not going to do it, Jonesy, you're just going to break it. Why won't you listen? And it's formed a nice doughy ball. Uh, if we just cut now and we come back yeah, with yeah, the flour on Yeah, the... put it in a bowl and do it by hand. Mary Berry never used that. Okay, so we've got the flour out of the liquidizer. And we're kneading it two or three times until it's smooth. It's important not to overdo it. <laughs> Read this. <laughs> I walked into Asda the other day and this random man just started throwing milk, butter and cheese at me. I thought, oh dearie. <laughs> Let's, we'll cut that out. Okay. Right. Oh, not necessarily. Okay. It's a All bit right. of light-hearted right. banter. So, we've, that's, we've, 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 that's needed. Yeah, it's okay. not a dough. All right, so we've done that. Yeah. Now no we're going to put it in some parchment. And, and chill. Put it into the fridge for a little bit. Just to chill. And in the meantime... We're going to get the food processor and liquidise five melons. So what are you going to do? Right, um, now we, while we've got the mixer out, we're just going to prepare um, the um, lemons. We've got to get the juice from four lemons for the You've not used that before, have you? No, hundreds of times. I know exactly how it goes. You haven't. Where does the liquid go? Does it go in that bowl, the juice? It's in the bowl. Do you want to bring the camera over? Oh, I'd love to. Hang on then. Zooming in. Can you bring it all this way a bit? They can see my spice rack. Oh yeah, loving that.
Jonesy, do you want to tell them why we've, why we've got to spend all weekend in the kitchen? Why have we got to spend all the time in the kitchen? You broke the central heating. We've got no heating, have we? No. No. Right, so that's the juice of My plumbing is four bubbly. lemons. In a minute. Go on then. Right, so we've got the um, pastry on the top of the um, base of the flan tin and underneath that is a piece of parchment that is approximately, uh, or it's got a mark, approximately an inch and a half bigger than the um, bottom of the tin for reasons that will become apparent in a minute and we're rolling it out until it ends up being an inch and a half bigger than the flan bottom and hopefully nice and thin and the thinner it gets the more of the flan base you can actually see through the pastry. If you want to bring the camera over, Jonesy, you'll be able to see. You should be able to see the outline of the flan base and the fact that the pastry is Where does it say that? about an inch and a half bigger than the flan base all the way round. When we've got that, what we're going to do is trim the most of the excess, and then very gently fold the pastry in. Can you see this? Can you can you see this? One? Yes. So we folded it in and we can place that inside the flan case itself and then gently lift the pastry out so that it overhangs the edge. Then what we're going to do is work the pastry tightly into all of the flutes. Now we're not, not going to worry at all about the excess pastry for the moment. Have you? Yeah. I want to do that. On the Great British Bake Off, she used a piece of pastry. Oh, that's true. That's what I meant to do, wasn't it? They don't call me Chief Executive Senior Producer for nothing. You can always flour it a bit. Dip it in flour. Let me see what... Um, press the pastry into the flutes of the tin, then lightly prick Oh, the base with a fork. But don't go all the way through. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm pricking What base. are you doing about that hole? Got it. Well, about that bit on just by your left hand, in the fluty bit. Are you pricking it? Yeah. You haven't got much overlapping pastry one side. Right. Feel like a patchwork kilt. Right, I'm, I'm exiting this a bit until you've done the other bit, yeah? 
Yeah, I don't think you've seen any of that. Zooming in. So what are you doing there, Mikey? Right, I've covered it loosely in cling film. Hang on, let me zoom out because it's huge. Hang on. Fork. I've covered it loosely in cling film. I've put it on a baking tray and I'm now going to put it in the kitchen for 30 minutes. You're going to put it in the fridge? Fridge for 30 minutes to chill. Hang on. And see what's in your fridge, Jonesy. Got a bit of alcohol on the bottom shelf there. There's three lots of flavoured vodkas, raspberry, peach, and black currant. Oh, doors closing. Water, oh, wine. Put it in there for half an hour. Wine right. <coughs> Now, Jones, and I've made a mess. It's a craftsman, it's a sign of good craftsman. I don't think that's strictly true. There's a fine layer of flour on everything, including me. Is it Seamless. fine flour or lumpy? Fine flour. Well, I say tradesman. Have you ever caramelised the top of a tartar citron before? Many times. I taught you everything you know. Are we going to use the one that we used on the garage door? Yeah, you'll never know. Your mum will never know. <coughs> I think the fire brigade coming around the house will be a bit of blue. That'd be, yeah, but at least we'll be warm. Once that sun goes down, Jonesy, I'm just going to check my muffins. Tell him that you rustled up with her there. Tell him you rustled up a bloody hell. You goon, a fly on the wall where they're not supposed to think that we know we're being filmed. You just Are you filming? You just Are you filming? Yes, but I'm not supposed to know. It's a fly on the wall. Oh, hang on, I've got to turn my muffins around. <coughs> they're supposed to look like that. Well you didn't level them off, did you? It was my idea, not yours. How much longer are they going to be? About nine, nine minutes or so. Nothing like an undercooked muffin. Okay, so we've taken the flan case out of the um, fridge. Hang on, let me just show them the flan case. Flan case pricked. We're now putting in there some silver foil. And a load of um, cooking beans. Is that what it says? Fill with baking beans. Bake blind for 12 to 15 minutes until the pastry is set. Course, well, it's a hot oven. I'd go for 12. Right, so they're all in there. All right, do you have to fold that foil all over the edges? No. And that's going in the oven. Hang on. For 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, set the timer. So, it's set for 12 minutes. Right, so what we're doing here is breaking five eggs into a large bowl. They free range. They are actually. I don't write. I wasn't in, involved in the procurement. No, they, I only buy free range. In fact, they're called eggs for soldiers because it helps um, soldiers. No, I could help you, soldiers. You see, you can dip your toast in them. No. <laughs> I just put Ooh, in the bin. He's coming here. Well, you used to go out with a commando, didn't you? Take a shortcut around through the barracks. Was it 4 2 commando? <laughs> so, whipping together five eggs. When that's Home nicely, in on Jonesy whipping. And that's nicely mixed. Can't use the electric one. No. Mary Berry is 110 and she never used an electric one. And then I'm adding the rest of the ingredients. Yeah, till, so that's a lot of sugar, isn't it? How much sugar is that? Just the four ounces? 
quiche. So that's okay. the caster sugar. That's the juice. Come on, I'm doing it. It's the juice and the zest. That's me doing that. From four or five lemons. That's me doing this as well. I'm getting more involved. And then low double cream. Have it. And it says, I'm panning back now to look at your... Um, it doesn't old... say anything. You're not, we're not no, following your recipe. All we've done is written down your family... Am I still in this? <laughs> right, so that's the, um, that's the filling mix. Right. And we'll set that aside for the moment until the... Um, 12th of never. Until the 12th of never. Until the oh. flan case is cooked. Okay, so we go off now? Come off now. What are you doing down there, Jonesy? It looks like it might be catching. Well, I'd take it out if you want. Oh, look, you've put a bike there. Yeah, it has caught on the back. All right, take him out. Right, you want to film this bit? Are you filming it? No. It is a hot oven. Well, obviously it's a hot oven. Stick or foil dish, Jonesy. Just dump it. Oh. Okay. So, take a sharp knife and we're going to take. Off. No, that's not how you do it. Please. It, it is. No. I saw I do it on the telly. Right. So we're chopping away the excess with a sharp knife. Ooh. Still a bit warm. And how long does that go in for again? Another 12 minutes or something. Hell, is it? Right, like all good cooks, got to have a look at it when it's in the oven. No, no. Still a little bit to uh, go yet, yeah, it's a little bit moist. I don't know, Jonesy, so it's looking quite golden for me. It's no. not doing another bit five minutes. No, it's got Jamesy, far right hand corner. I'm seriously saying. No, it's a bit moist. Well, um, I've just realised that I've forgotten to um, show you the uh, filling going in the um, flan. Uh, it's now gone back in the oven and we're going to bake it for. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Have so you put like the that. stuff in? Yeah. Why? Well, was it had to go in and I forgot to film it. I can't believe that. Never mind. Okay, so it's in the oven. And yeah. We've now got... Um... Well, you, you, what you've got to do is I would have a look at it after 15 minutes, which is about 11 minutes time. Right. But the, what I was going to say was we've got 25 minutes to decide. We either do, dust... Do, dust do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We either dust it, with do, icing, do. dust it with icing sugar and then attack it with a blowtorch. Dust it with icing sugar and don't attack it with a blowtorch. Or, according to this recipe, you write citron in melted dark chocolate across the top of the cold tart. Read out exactly what she says. It doesn't then say attack, uh, attack it with a, with a Give it to me. blowtorch. <clears throat> To glaze the surface, dust gener generously with icing sugar, then, using a blowtorch, hold the flame just above the sugar and move it around until the sugar has caramelised, being careful not to burn the pastry edges. To decorate the tart like a French patisserie, so it's not doing both then. I'm your favourite blowtorch. Right. So it's either melted chocolate... One or the other. Right, okay. So, we'll come back to you in a few minutes when we've decided. Right, so there we go, the tart's now come out of the oven. Oi, look at the camera, less of the tart. Kind of springy, and if you move it about, it'll wobble in the middle. Don't we all love? So now we're going to let it cool. And eat it. And eat it. <laughs> No, what we're going to do now is icing sugar and the blowtorch. Yeah, but not now, no. when it's cool. Okay. Oh, you're so impatient, Jonesy. That is, um, that's a work of art, isn't it?
genuinely a work of art.